Hello guys, today I will give you a test to find out how well you know Laravel routing. But before we do that, a little bit of backstory. A while ago I started a thing called Challenges on this YouTube channel and there is a playlist called Laravel Challenges and I will link that in the description below. So I was giving the tasks off some repository and I was expecting some pull requests to test your knowledge on some topic like routes, like API, like many-to-many -many relations and stuff like that. But that model didn't really pay off because it took too much time for me to review those pull requests, especially if there are like 50 plus pull requests with different variants of writing the same code. So it was too time consuming for a task. But I didn't give up on that idea because I feel that the developers should evolve and should learn by doing something and by testing their skills, not in the form of ABC testing like a question and then ABC answers. That is pretty pointless and not real life scenario. I like real life scenarios. So I get back to that idea with another twist. And that twist comes from my tweet, another tweet where I want to propose the alternative certification to the official. So there is an official Laravel certification program and you can pay money to become Laravel certified developer and take the test. But I want to suggest my own alternative, non-official certification. And at the end of this video, I will ask you for advice how exactly that should work. But as a test, as a first thing to solve that problem of doing the challenge, but not taking too much time, and at the same time giving you some kind of badge or certification on that specific topic of routing, I have this task for you. This is a project, and actually a better way to show that is in PHP Storm, a project which has the controllers. So there is API v1 task controller with some functionality of managing tasks. Then there is non-API controller with CRUD operations like create, store, show, and stuff like that. But there are no routes. The routes are deleted, all of them intentionally. And the task for you is to complete that routes web file according to the tasks. So the first task, for example, is to point the home URL to the home controller index method. You need to put only one code line here below. And then task by task, you have in total 12 tasks. For most of them, it's just one line solution. For some of them, you need to introduce route grouping. So it's beginning and the end here of route group and then 11 tasks in the routes web and one more in routes API. So one more line here. And then the way how I figured out that I would not be the one reviewing the test, reviewing your solution is automated testing. So there is a file routes test feature test, which checks all those URLs for loading. So home URL, does it load well? Does it have specific view? Cool. Then another URL, assert something, another URL and then also the CRUD with acting as user. So there should be auth middleware, obviously, and then assert everything. So that test should pass. And that would mean that you completed the test successfully. So in the current state of this project, if we run PHP artisan test, it will all fail. So eight failed tests, nothing succeeded. Or if you want another version, you can run PHP unit, vendor bin PHP unit, eight tests, eight assertions, eight failures. So nothing is succeeding and your work is to make it succeed with a pull request to this repository, which is public. The link will be in the description below. And also I went one step further to automatically review your pull request with GitHub Actions. And it will automatically launch the tests whenever there is a pull request to the main branch. And it happened already here. My last commit failed, which is X here. And you can check the details. So this is the job, the GitHub action that was performed. Set up jobs, copy ENV, and then execute tests. And it executes PHP unit, which failed. As I have shown you from local machine, the same happens on GitHub Actions. So whenever someone makes a pull request, and I will demonstrate for you, so I forked that repository into my personal Pavlos Corp account, I will change some file, for example, routes web. Let's do it directly online. You can edit the file here, and I will add some kind of route here. So route get home, for example, I will not perform the correct answer. So something app controller class index like this, then commit the changes. And then if we go to the repository, it will allow us to contribute, open a pull request to that main branch, able to merge. So no conflicts, create pull requests. And if you create a pull request, see what happens. 
So no conflicts, but in a few seconds, the automated test will start. There we go, Laravel test queued, waiting to run this check. And this check is actually preparing the virtual environment started and it will take like 10 seconds or 15 seconds to finish and there we go failing after 11 seconds and you can see what was the actual failure details and the same eight failures are process completed with exit code one so this is a help for you whether you succeeded or not and then you can complete your pull request with more changes until that test actually is passing and in tomorrow's video, I will shoot a specific video how to set that up in your GitHub repository. It's extremely easy. It was surprisingly easy for me. There are a lot of tutorials on Laravel and GitHub Actions, but in the most simple form, it takes roughly five minutes to set up. So that's in the tomorrow's video. But today I have a test for you. Good luck with that. And if you have any questions, shoot in the comments below. Finally, I want to get back to this tweet and ask you, what would be the form that you would like to receive your award for completed challenge? It could be some kind of a badge system that I would create badge for routing, for example. And where should I put that badge? On the same GitHub repo in the readme, so list the people who actually earned that badge, or I should create a separate website, Laravel badges or something, and then topic by topic list the people, or in fact, another maybe long-term solution would be a personal profile for someone for your GitHub account, or maybe badges that you would be embedding into your GitHub. Somehow, I'm not sure. So maybe after doing some 10 tests or something, you would have enough badges to build your personal profile, like personal homepage or something. Any suggestions, welcome. And final, final thing, that routing test, is tied together with Laravel learning path. So that's where it started. I have a Laravel learning path, kind of a roadmap free on GitHub. And the first topic is routing. So that test, today's test covers all of that and a few more subtopics. And my plan for the next test, if this works out well, is to have other topics. And for example, create a test on blade, then create the test on auth starters, for example, and topic by topic have coverage of main topics of Laravel, which would be kind of my version of certification. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. Good luck with today's challenge and see you guys in other videos.